Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So the new timing chain or the new starter chain is here and it appears to be the right size, uh, decent quality, all that other stuff. They cost about $8 including shipping. They come from the United States, Texas or California and they managed to get here in about a week. So now that it's here, let's smash it right on in. We're going to try a little bit of tripod work today and one needs to get this foot guard, um, whatever you want to call it, off before you could really do much with the side of the engine here where the timing chain lives and I've got one of these sets, you know, Harbor Freight, I think it's known as the security tool set or bit set, something like that. Anyway. Um, it has everything you need. Right, 10 millimeter on the far side. Right, we'll, we'll take these out. The bottom of this, two of these bolts, 10 millimeter. Right, get this off. 10 millimeter under here for the gear shifter. And that comes off. Moving along fairly well, huh? Make sure I'm showing you stuff. And finally, 8 millimeter. Take this off carefully. Try not to beat up on the wires. And uh, we got like a rusty mess in here I mean look at this I mean it's literally been grinding the inside of the flywheel there's so much stuff I'm I'm surprised it hasn't taken out the uh, the pulse generator or something Wow anyway I'm I guess I'm gonna get my compressor and uh, a temp to blow some of the rust out of here I and mean, the rest of it looks okay yeah I think I'm gonna try to blow some of that out of there see they didn't do a very good job with this gasket and there is kind of a little drain hole right there if you put this on this is all the way on the bottom anyway let's Fire up the compressor, blow that out of there. Okay, I wire brushed it a little bit, and we have the air gun. And I think we all want to hold our breaths for this. Wow, I have to step away and breathe. Okay, it's time to put the timing chain on and you can see it goes around there and around here. The only problem is it won't seem to go by. Even if you kind of take this guider out, this polymer guider, right? It's still too tight for the chain to get in between there. So I think I'm going to have to loosen this up and put the old three jaw puller on it and pull back it up a ways. Uh, then I think I'll be able to put it on like your typical bicycle chain where you kind of have it on the little gear and part way off the big gear and you kind of turn it around until it slips right on. The three jaw pullers on here and as I'm attempting to pull this off unfortunately it's not quite working like it should be it looks like I'm tearing the flywheel apart um, 
not a good thing. I don't own the correct puller for this. One can see it looks like what I need to do is there's an outside that threads on and then a center that you thread in to push to take it out. Though, I'm not sure if I was using the proper puller if things would be going all that much better. It looks like it too would be pulling on the outside of the flywheel. No, kind of looks like it's going sideways on me. I think. Yeah, I think I might. Yeah, it looks like it's cracking away here. See the way it's all pulling away. I think I, <laughs> I think I might have to go dig up another flywheel and so forth. The, yeah, yeah. By pulling on the edge, I'm literally tearing the flywheel apart. I think what I'm I'm going to have to do is fish around, see if I can't find another flywheel for this thing. I'm probably going to have to order the correct puller. Um, obviously a three-jaw puller does not work in this application. It works at tearing the flywheel apart, but it doesn't work at getting it loose. Kind of surprising, it, you know, the bolts came out fairly easily. I really didn't have to impact it all that much. So, I guess I'm going with, at the moment, a bit of a uh, starter chain failure for this, at this point. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna order that puller. I'm probably gonna order another flywheel and we're going to go forward from there. I'm going through all the trouble of um, step after step after step because it's very easy to get one of these and, and find yourself going down this less than pretty path. Um, I just think of my newest acquaintance, the guy whom I bought that... Um, Tau Tau Rhino 250 from AKA 250 I think it might be called anyway and him saying I don't I don't like going anywhere near the China stuff because you could just imagine guy brings it in broken timing chain you look it up on the internet quick seven dollar part you figure maybe a couple of hours to put it in so you tell him 200 bucks right he goes well it's only a thousand dollar all-terrain vehicle 200 bucks well if my son gets another summer or two out of it will be cool suddenly as you're working on it you find your two hours disappearing very very quickly suddenly you also have to buy a different um, flywheel pull and perhaps a flywheel to replace the one that your three jaw just ate and, you know, you got the gasket and everything else to replace. Suddenly you're beginning to think, hmm, this might be more like three or four hundred dollars. And what the owner tells you is, you know what, just keep the piece of junk. Now this is sitting in your shop taking up space. What do you do with it? Obviously, I think you put it on Craigslist and try to find a fool like myself to come and get it. Anyway, I'm going to keep going on this because I really want to get it running and I really want to talk Musty One into dropping by with his 90cc if he still has it. And I'd really like to race him around the property. You know, I'm, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hang out in the front oval there, see, uh, see which one does better. But, uh, at the rate I'm going, I might, uh, <laughs> I might have been better off buying it new. 
Anyway, I really want everyone to keep their feet down, their heads up, and I want you all to get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.